stream of this game, Alien Isolation. Hello, Fiona. You'll chill with me until you feel too gross and must die in bed. Okay. Uh, Dio, can you can you leave Rosa alone? I don't know what you're doing, but it she doesn't look super comfortable. She also doesn't look super upset. <laughs> Dio is just scuffing Rosa. I know. I am aware. <laughs> game. It is the first thing. Is, yeah. Can I like... Uh, not really. I'm trying to see if I can give you a better... You know, not have this blanket in the way, but I can't really push it down. No, Dio. I want you to stay on camera. <sighs> I don't I don't think that's what's happening. That's not how I would describe it. <laughs> that's not how I would describe it, Fiona. I do not think that that is accurate. I don't I don't care. That's... 
I know, I know. Look, now now they're just licking each other. It's all it's all fine. Hi, Billy. Okay. We are trying to extend the tow platform beneath the space flight terminal to escape on the torrents. Before Sebastopol falls into the planet that it orbits. Uh... Oh, hi! Yeah, well, let's... I guess we'll go in here. Oh. This does not actually help me, does it? Wait. Does it? No, this does not help me at all. Game. Also, this game's really quiet. Where did... Where did the guy on fire go? Oh, he's back there. Now he's no longer on fire. Did he see me? Oh, he saw me. Are you? I mean, yes, probably. Alright. I hope there's no, uh... Hope, I hope no alien heard that, that's what I'm going with. Oh god, yeah, especially since I'm out of flamethrower. So, there's nothing I can do. What the fuck's my... There it is. Uh... Well, that's annoying. My objective appears to be in the opposite direction. Really wish I had a flamethrower. I mean, I'm not seeing any place to hide, which suggests... You know, until that happened. Well, I'm one of those. Did it just go back up into the trying to go. Shit. I don't like it. Well, I don't like it at all. It's gonna come up behind me and murder me. Oh my god, there's nothing to... The door is right there, but I can't access it. Uh, why can't you just squeeze through here? What in the... Where the fuck am I supposed to go? That looks like it might be a thing. What is my goal right now? Oh. Well, other than living. To, to get out. To get to a ship. Our ship. We have to do some jury rig docking. It is... Extend the tow platform beneath the space flight terminal. It's only like 80 pounds of crap she can't climb. Oh, hey! It actually ran away! Alright. This looks like it might be a thing. Key card required! Fuck. 
Oh wait, did I? No, I came in through here. For once, it did. I mean, I think it's still gonna kill me, and we have to redo this. But I'm trying to figure out where the fuck I had to go before it does. Cause I don't fucking know. What? I don't have a passcode. Do I have a passcode? Oh, I can read these in here. Oh, that's actually helpful. Is anyone here? It's Denver. I'm back at the supplies, but I'm locked out. Nobody's answering. What happened? Was there an attack? It's getting worse out here. You have to let me back inside now. My wife is in there. She'll tell you how I am. I have the supplies. Someone please answer me. This is audio. I can't play it, though. Is this actually new, or is this just a new... I don't think so. Uh... Uh, oh, this one. Okay, this is the other one we saw. We rounded up everyone we could find and camped out in the rec room. The security system we discussed is rigged up. We won't be able to get in the old way. We caught a stranger seeking in. After a couple of hours... Oh, you had to scroll down to see the code. That's why I didn't see it. He confessed. Who let him in? And we threw them both out. We only got limited space supplies in here. We've got to control who gets in. If they want in, they've got to bring something to the table. What we need in... What you need is in the usual place. I don't want to say here, but you know what I mean. I changed the code to 1984. Use what you find there. Of course, we'll need to make sure you got the supplies you promised. We'll check you upon the entrance. I'm sure you've got what we need. After all, I vouch for you. Don't make me regret it. Yes. I have not enough flamethrower fuel to actually do anything. 1984, I hear that was a good year. This also doesn't help me. How did he get back on board? Oh, did you miss the whole last stream, Fiona? So you don't know the you don't know the alien sitch. The fuck is that icon? That's a key card lock. I don't have a key card. Uh well when when I don't have an alien on me, I'll tell you. Okay. Well, now I'm kind of concerned about actually trying to do something with this time. So when I have maybe a moment that isn't. So we need a key card, I guess. I don't know where to find it. Was there a key card in there that I missed? I don't think there was. It didn't look like it. it feels like it would be on one of these bodies maybe, but I think I searched them. Also, just uh, they're mo they're two robots, which is not helpful. Um. Okay. So what happened was I need to pick up a key up the alien Jesus. Uh. So we the AI wouldn't shut down the alert that was making the robots kill everyone unless we cleared an obstruction in the reactor so we went down to the reactor and we found the reactor was not obstructed by a small thing it was obstructed the entire reactor basically was turned into an alien nest and uh so we had to to maneuver around that we had to actually like oh my god more flamethrower fuel that's enough to actually drive it away once uh so Lots of eggs and face huggers start showing up as enemies, and then we uh, we basically, you know, overloaded the reactor so that it would blow up to destroy the nest, which we did. 
Uh, and then as it was blowing up, like, we were in, like, a control booth looking down on it. I don't fucking know where to go or what I'm looking for. I have no idea. This is really frustrating. I feel like I need a key card, but I don't know what that key card is. Um, like, as the reactor was overloading and exploding, basically about a dozen full-grown aliens, like, jumped out and climbed the walls up and, like climbed over the glass in front of us and away and they they escaped so we are not dealing with one alien anymore okay so this is where i came from i just don't i'm very confused as to what i mean it's not over here you have a lot of friends now. Yeah. Uh, so that's the, the alien situation. We've only still one, seen one alien at a time. Um, I assume before the end we're going to have to have a scene where there's multiple aliens. Just because, you know, you introduce multiple aliens. So you do that. So you're just trying to get off now. Yeah. So what happened was after that, uh, like, basically we, when the power shut down, Temporarily, I guess it's on backups now or something. Uh, it caused a reboot of like the systems, including the AI. And during that period, while the AI was rebooting, um, somebody was able to contact the guy who was in prison, who brought the alien here in the first place, was able to contact his ship, and he got onto it. And then we went onto his ship and got on back onto it with him. Uh, but then it turned out his his plan was not to escape. But he had decided the alien was so horrible and so dangerous that no one, you know, they couldn't just leave it, these aliens on the station for the company to come and find them later. They needed to blow up the station using his, he needed to blow up the station using his ship and uh, to, to make sure they all died and no one ever found it. Um, and Ripley's like, but that'll kill us. You can't do that. And he's like... Yeah, I think there are bigger issues than us living right now. This is a bigger deal. Uh, but we ended up fighting him. Well, not really. Actually, somebody else ended up fighting him. And uh, he's dead. But... And we sort of stopped the ship from blowing... Or, oh, shit. We sort of stopped the ship from hitting the station. But only a... It basically did a glancing blow. And so that's why the station is now falling into the sun. Uh... And we're back on the station trying to, trying, but we can't manage to contact, we went to an observatory on the station, for some goddamn reason, and we contacted our ship, which has just been sitting out there the whole time, because they had no communications with the station, so since they got here, since we got here, like, we left and came onto the station, we've never been able to talk to them again, they've just been hanging out there, just like, I don't know what's happening, we haven't heard anything, uh, but once the station started exploding, they were like, guys, uh, um, your station's exploding. Do you do you need some help? Uh, so we managed to make contact with them, but they're just like basically we had to jury rig a, a place for us them to actually dock because they don't actually have a place they can dock normally. I don't. I don't. I feel like I'm. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? I don't know what I'm looking for. Is it on this computer? Did I miss something? Okay, we saw those. No, there's nothing else here. Orbital stabilizer failure. Abandoned station. Abandoned station. I don't I don't know what It's good you have friends on the Wii ship. Let's hope the aliens don't do a number on it. Yeah, I think the only person... I don't know if there's anyone on it aside from the captain. I mean, I guess there must be a crew. But I think we only met the captain before before we left. Because the other people... I had the key card. Or maybe it was... It, I don't... No, it said an X before. It must have been in that, that thing. And I was just picking everything up quickly because the alien was there. So I didn't realize it. So it was in that thing. That is exactly what I had to do. I just had already picked it up and didn't realize it. Oh, hi. Okay. Oh, that's nice. 
great. Uh huh. This is what I love. Just two completely blind passageways. That's what I want. Uh, dead man in one. That's always good. Well, shotgun shells. Okay. Also, I should make another noisemaker. Those are actually somewhat. They're actually being usable. Also, can I make more Molotovs? Yes, I can. Okay. Can I make... No. Yeah, so I think that's about everything from last time. So we're just trying to get away. I don't know what they plan. I mean, well, I guess the station's falling in the sun, so that's going to take care of the station. So if we can get away without any aliens, we'll be fine. Haha, uh -huh, because that's going to happen. What, what am I? Oh, am I torching this? Locked. Seems fine. Okay, find an alternate route. It's gonna be over here. It's gonna be in there. By the looks of things. But that's not an actual door. Neither is this. Well. There's, I assume there's not an actual time limit here, but man, you can just sit here and wait for it to... That'd be really funny. Oh my god, look at it. Look at it. It's so beautiful. What was, uh... Oh, I was thinking of uh, a rival Mass Effect 2 DLC that has the giant timer on it, which is like two hours long for a thing that takes you like 20 minutes to do, but if you do wait, you will lose. Uh, I don't know. This is the thing. No entry, huh? Well, uh, what happened? What happened, guys? Did your, uh, your hold up thing not actually work? That's what it seems like to me. Captains, oh, you're both there, you're just like... Okay, just a sec. No, it's okay, stay there. Stay there, don't move. Just gonna go get a thing so there's more height on the camera. There we go. That's a little better. That's a little better. Oh, pretty badass. Okay, it's really nice to get a save there. Oh, I make another Molotov. I will do that. Molotovs. Right. Do you feel like the game is a lot less scary towards the end? Uh, probably, compared to when the alien initially showed up. This is not a door? Why is this not a door? Like, it's not even like, oh, it's locked. It's just, it's just telling you, you can't go through there, you gotta go through here.
Wow. Is that a, a, a air hockey table? That's cool. Okay, so that's that, right? Oh my god. More flamethrower fuel. It's still pretty tense, it's just kind of I'm, I'm used to the alien and also, you know, I have a flamethrower. That helps a lot. Shit. I got a key card from that. If you're listening to this and you're on the team, we've sealed the habitation sanctuary. There's one way in, one way out. I've still got raiding parties heading out to move supplies and weapons, but it looks like we shut it off just in time. The Sikhs and synthetics have started moving away from their stations. I've seen a trail of strangled bodies in public areas. So. Hi, Mary. They really front-loaded the jump scares. The last few videos have felt a lot more action focus. Yeah, I mean, I think that's kind of the standard arc of a, of a story like this, right? Is, you know, once you, you get a handle on it, it's obviously less scary. Oh, hi. Was that a bigger alien or just close up? Also, where do I need to go now? Oh. What the fuck do I get over there? What did I just open? I don't... Hmm. Oh, did I open a door on that side, maybe? I think maybe that's what happened. Which is... I mean, that's good, I guess. So it just kind of released an alien. I got things. I was stuck in there for a long time. Can I go in there? It's like, oh, hostel. No hostels nearby, but Yelp. Then there's that noise. Oh, where the fuck is it? It might actually be right there. <laughs> I was like, I can't see it. So, oh shit. Well, great. Almost got away without having to use it. Not no. Okay. okay, this door opened. This is the door that was locked before. I think. everyone if uh, you guys did not see or you don't follow me on Twitter I posted uh, a bunch of pictures of cats on Twitter from uh, the first time I met them to hi okay that's annoying that seemed very scripted uh, from the first time that I met them to to now so across Time to celebrate because they are two years old today. Uh, the first picture is from when they're like a couple months old, you know, it's not from when they were born. But 
They're still very tiny. Okay, what is this? This is not... Uh, uh. So, what's... I think it sees me. Never mind. Did it leave? That would be convenient. What is... Oh, it's in that room. Get into there, possibly. Yeah, but I don't know how to get into there. Oh, I. That's how. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go to go hit the generator. Yep. I figured that would come up. So the generator's over in the rec room, so I gotta go all the way back. Man, this game needs night vision. I mean, that would actually give you, you know, an advantage over the alien, though, so... I suppose that's what it doesn't need. Spooky. Is it probably is this like actually even more? I don't know if it's darker on screen where it's like actually just pitch black. Wait, what? Okay, so good there. Um, I can see very slightly. Uh, and it's just drained pretty hard, but let's see. Okay, see. Okay, right there. Yeah, like this shit did not work at all when we were playing on hard. It totally works now, but... Oh, this door's open. This is... No, this is... No, the other one. This is already open. in the, the escape music. That's good. That's what I want. what I'm running instead of just, you know, creeping along. Oh 
So I wish I could climb over that. But. there though. Fuck. Oh, great. Yeah, just go right where I need to go. somewhere. Or it's the thing that opens another door and I have to go all the way back out again. I don't know. You know. Sorry, buddy. I'm trying to listen to you, but I can't really listen to you, and, and now your subtitles went off. Uh, we don't dodge as long as you could, but we didn't come fast enough. You, fuck, you fucked it. You're sending the Marines to blow this place up. Get the creatures back to hell. Uh, what? Is there not a way out from here? Oh, oh, there is from here. Alright, okay, okay, we're close. Sebastopol, this is Diane Verlaine of the Torrents. I am attempting to dock on the tow platform below your space flight terminal. Well, I hope this is it. We can take survivors. Ah, survivors. <laughs> just ends right now it's just like an hour just like oh well okay guys hope you have fun mm -hmm. yeah don't don't re-enter the station unless advised to do so because that's gonna end Oh my god, more flint for fuel. Just on the ground. That's probably a bad sign, actually. But, I'll still take it. So where am I actually trying to get to? Doesn't actually say. It said get to this terminal or something. But I think I'm in the terminal. Okay. Yeah, we've been here. I I would like to. Oh, okay, there we go. Whoops! Now it came in. Where are we trying to go? Uh. So I don't know where I'm actually trying to go. Shit. Well, that's actually really frustrating. I don't really want to save the game here, because I don't actually know where the hell I'm going. 
I've already been in here, so I'm not going to play that. So I can go back that way, but it doesn't get me anything. I'm just like walking right now because I, didn't see, I haven't heard any aliens yet. supposed to go video game why don't I have a thingy so those are red we're locked that door was locked or was it maybe it's open now actually No, I think it's still locked. Um, man, we never got into that kitchen. Door locked. I still don't really want to run. That seems... A little, feels like a little bit too pushy in the face. Oh, can I plasma torch this? Looks like I might be able to, or ion torch this or whatever. Looks like that might be a thing. Okay. This is just a... Sure. Well, that's not... Oh, the tow platform. Okay, that's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for. Alright, we got an achievement. For another mission, I assume. 17th mission. Alright. 18 missions seems like a good round number. Might be the last one. Okay, uh, those are the, you know, spacesuits. Yeah, just, just hold, just patience. You gotta, this is slow and steady here. Erlaine, don't be yelling at me, that's, that's rude. All right, let's get this map. So our goal is, okay, that's, that's not actually helpful. We, we're supposed to do something with the towing. Verlaine, can you hear me? No. Are you close enough for radio contact? I'm here! Rexing, thank God, I hear you. I need you to extend the dog cradle flint. Quickly, there are two. Should be close by. Okay. Those are up there. Sure. Well, this is a familiar room, just with a different little... Or like, it's all kind of like, you know, sealed up. All this stuff, but it's the same layout as the other room, so I guess this is like the backup room or something. Okay, where is. Oh, that's over here. Definitely gonna be getting aliens. Oh, God. Alright. Good. Well, 
what's not the best site. Okay, so for number two, we have to restore power. Alright. So I don't know how we do that. Oh, activate the hydraulic systems. No, that was, we already, yeah. That's the thing that's got a, it's just for store power. What's this other thing? It's not. Search this guy. Oh, god damn it. Please. Well, I kind of prefer to do that, to be honest. So that I. It seems like that's quieter than shooting him. Why is the utility locked? Well, that seems. Frustrating. Get up that kid. Well, no. Isn't he useful? Uh like I need to restore power somewhere, but I don't know actually where to do that. Because the only objective it's telling me is to is that one. The only objective on the map, rather, but I can't restore power, or that it needs power to do anything. It's gotta be this computer. There was nothing on it. Oh, okay. The fuck is that locked? Uh oh, what? No, that's the exact same one. That's the exact same thing. I just went down a long rabbit hole by asking myself the question, do xenomorphs eat people? Answer, the canon entries have offered no information on what if the aliens eat anything. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't think that they have to. Because they're not, they're not killing people for, they're not killing people for food, we know that, right? Like, they're killing people because they've been 
they're they're literally engineered to be weapons. They're like a WFD. Like they they literally like especially according to Prometheus, um the ship with all the eggs in Alien is literally like a basically a bombing vessel that they would like fly over and just drop alien eggs. Oh, I'm supposed to go down here. Because they keep reproducing themselves, so they're basically like a, you know, a biological weapon that just, like, spreads through the population. Uh, okay. Let's get back over here. I mean, we definitely heard alien sounds, but not, I've not seen an alien, and that is sometimes unreliable. Okay, okay. Okay. Just gonna be uh, like. I don't know what the aliens, yeah, what the xenomorphs eat though. Like they obviously would need to consume. I guess I mean they. I mean maybe because because they you know they consume resources out of the people the facehuggers do right. So. Uh, Part's fine as far as it goes, just bug me, they're biological and have a super energetical, expensive life cycle that apparently functions exponentially with no energy mode. Well, they, they take input from the people, the facehuggers take input from the people, right? So, I mean, maybe they're just like, the adult versions don't actually need to eat, because they're just like, not meant to, I mean, what if aliens don't, what if xenomorphs don't actually live very long? Since they're just meant to go run and kill people, like, maybe you could just wait them out for a while. I mean, according to this game, they at least live a few weeks, but it hasn't been any longer than that. Uh, and obviously, Nostromo is like a couple days at most. The people get face hugged are totally fine until they get bursted. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I feel like it should. I feel like that's got to be take creative license, which is obviously like you know just just covering, but. I feel like it's gotta be the whole point of the facehugger is that they consume resources inside the person to, to turn them into to, to grow a thing. Although how they then, you know, like they grow into the little thing and then they come out, chest burster, and then they run away and then they like just grow still using those resources. I don't know. That's a, that's uh Oh that that seems bad. This doesn't seem like where I wanna go. Uh, I think the colony and aliens is overrun for weeks slash months before the Marines arrive. Oh, that could be. I don't remember aliens very well. It's been a really long time since I've seen aliens. Like, on TV when I was a kid. Where the hell is this thing? Where's the thingy? I'm supposed to... Just need to go up? Is this the door I came in? No, this is not. Okay, never mind. I like my idea that they're just, uh, they just, you know, I'm guessing the hostels nearby is actually a facehugger rather than an alien, but we'll see in a second. Well, I know where an Eva suit is. They're basically replicants, then? Oh, yeah, yeah, in terms of only living for a few... Yeah, for a while. Just for a different purpose. Oh, so this is where they started. This is like... When they were booting up the station, they used this area. Get shit done for a few years, then you're out, yeah. 
Okay, I need to go back down. It also said hostels nearby, but I still haven't seen an alien. Okay, that... Sounds like an alien, but... No, that's music. Alright, so now I gotta, yeah, get to that airlock that I saw before. I was wondering this when I was in the EVA suit before, why we didn't just... Once we could contact them, why didn't we just call them over? At that point, the warden guy was still alive. So, he was on station, technically, but I was like... Oh! Fucking... Go. Maybe I should have just flamed it. Alright, game. This is your chance to pull out multiple aliens. It's a very short one. Yep. I saw two tails. I definitely saw two tails. Fuck me. Let's see if I can noise maker these fucks. Oh, uh, this doesn't actually go. Well, no, it does help me. There are two tails. Yes, yes, Fiona. Oh, I can't come out this way. Of course they made it so you can't come out there, right there. Of course they did. Okay, can I come out over here? Yes. I don't... Fuck! Okay. Whoops. But, should be fine. has time to do this this takes a while oh I'm not dead uh I'm not dead. Oh, great. Well, of course. Oh, that's not good. Is this an extended death sequence? I was going to say roughly knows how to exploit iframes, but evidently she does not. Alright. Hi, dead guy. Well, apparently Ripley is the one person who is, like, capable of getting out of this. I mean, that ID tag. I need a weapon? I would love a weapon? Oh, shit. I don't have a fucking weapon game! What the fuck am I supposed to do about that? <laughs> All right, let's let's not walk next to that. Yeah. Oh, I guess I still have my maintenance jack. I always have my maintenance jack. 
Yeah, they're giving me ammo, but I don't have a fucking weapon. So... Also, how long was I in there? And like, why did they not just kill me? Oh, I killed myself with the Molotov. You guys said you still had the flamethrower. Oh. Did I just not? It just didn't. Oh my god, I do. Okay, I'm, I'm just an idiot. I just assumed I didn't have my guns on me. <laughs> because they're fucking aliens. Okay, never mind. This is fine. Also, let's... I don't know, shotgun those guys? That seems like a good compromise. Uh, medkit myself. The revolver's too hard to hit. Good to know that blowing up the reactor did, like, absolutely nothing. So yeah, these are facehuggers, by the way, if you didn't see them before. They, uh, they insta-kill you. If you let them get to you. Oh yes, give me that sweet flamethrower fuel. Well, do I need to go? Which way do I need to go? Go this way. Oh, I thought I was moving along this direction, not this direction, so that was probably... Yeah, that would have been the... Is there one there? right behind me? Yeah, there is. Why did it go away? I don't actually understand what just happened. Like, was it actually gonna... No, they're leaving. Why are they leaving? Are they trying to get on the ship? I don't think they're that intelligent, but... dead. I guess it makes sense the aliens didn't take my weapons. They don't know how to do that. But... This looks familiar, but I'm not sure if it looks familiar. Does the environments look familiar if I've actually been here before? can't be very far from where we were, right? Jesus! 
Oh. <laughs> Just let me make it through here. There's a train? on fire. Why am I on fire? That seems bad. I don't want to be on fire. Oh. This is like a... Holy hell, is the disco stud on the wall, yeah. I thought that was like, because there's like rails in the middle, so I was like, oh, this is like a thing, a platform that is supposed to be here. Uh, evidently, that's that's not what that was. Evidently, there was also an autosave here. That was... Jesus! <laughs> Just let me make it through here. Uh, I don't understand how this works then. Because I can't get over there. So. Couldn't make it over here. No. Okay. No, that's not a thing. The door I came in on. So what do I have to go out here and trigger the the car and then get out? Yeah, I think so. Or train. Okay. That's now down. Oh now I can go back over here. Or can I go over here? Oh my god. Uh but what is what is going over here get me? So now I'm on the other side of the door. Oh, okay. So I came in here, I'm trying to get down to here. But I don't see What? Oh, okay. That was the train. Why? Is, we, we'd never heard of a train. Oh wait, are the are these literally the? Oh, these are the things. Never mind. We've never heard of a train. We've been using them the whole game. These are the things that actually move between things. Okay, I didn't actually know what they were. Okay. This is what it actually looks like, I guess, except we'd, we've never been in a thing like this that actually showed the trains, because it was always on, like, you just go into the thing, and but that has to be what these are, right? That has to be what the deal is here, okay. Well, this doesn't look like a door that opens, which means we gotta go... Into the fun zone. This is a very Dead Space section. I've never played Dead Space, but that does uh, fit with my you know, perceptions of the series of the person who has not played it. Alright, I thought I got both of them in one burst, but I did not. Also, there's another... Oh my god, there's more of them. And they apparently can't fit through there. So... 
that's a thing. I just want to leave. Yeah, I don't really enjoy this. This is very... I think every game has a set piece that is exactly this. Oh, I gotta climb down. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't really enjoy it. It is, it feels very, uh, rote and... Okay, I'll just continue. Like, I don't like these kind of like, oh god. Yeah, these things that are just like, I don't know. This is not a, because it's all just a set piece, it's all just scripted, so it's not really, it's not, uh, the danger is just doing, you know, not doing what the game wants you to do. Uh, and that's just not, and it's not very, I don't know, yeah. I'm trying to find the words to actually describe why this annoys me. All right. Okay. So, oh, well, apparently I can't save. Why? Why can't I? Didn't it say? Oh, why, why do I have to use this one rather than the other one? Might be faster if the torrents meet you underneath the station for when you eventually fall out of it. Well. Wouldn't you be looking up that time? Wouldn't you look up? Also, yeah, I have no idea how she planned on doing that with those aliens running around before, because that took a long-ass time. I mean, we just do a fade to black, but, like, that would take a long time. Uh, okay. This is definitely like just you know your your scripted end game stuff, and it's not very exciting to me. It's, it feels like even if this was in a movie where everything was scripted, I just don't find this sort of danger very compelling. Especially when it doesn't involve the characters actually doing. It's not like the characters are figuring anything out or like making any smart choices, you know, in split moment, like. It's just a very physical endurance kind of stretch, which is, I guess, you know, I guess maybe if I had more respect for that, uh, and I mean that, you know, like a, a subconscious kind of way, maybe I would, uh, you know, appreciate more like, oh man, this would take so much energy, uh, but I don't have that. And is this where I'm supposed to go? Oh my. Yes, it is. So it's kind of hard for me to appreciate it versus if it's like a fight, uh, a kind of tactical fight or, uh, you know, a, a more of a strategic thing or something that I can be like, oh yeah, they gotta think their way through this. It also commits the sin of making your character cutscene super for plot convenience. It does do that. Um, I, that doesn't, it doesn't really bother me in this instance because it's like, well, okay, so it, so it kind of bothers me, but it's like I had to think about it that bothers me because I fully believe that Ripley is act would act stupid at this point because she's so overwhelmingly stressed. But of course, that doesn't actually follow from her character the whole game, which has been presented as obscenely, ridiculously competent at things she's never ever done before or encountered. <laughs> Why can't I? Is this not a? Oh, oh. Wait, what? What am I? I didn't have an interact prompt. What, what am I? Oh, oh. That makes more sense. Uh, should I do it? I don't know. I'll 
also apparently I can't what I cannot walk I cannot go up that I had to go all the way over here so I can go back up no climbing in spacesuits which I don't know maybe that's the thing Oh, I see. Okay, I didn't actually understand what's happening. So I was picking, I was opening this thing, picking up a thing, and then uh, using the thing that I picked up. Which is so it's like a super, you know, it's a safe. It's like it. You don't actually have. To, it's not a security measure. It's a, like a safety measure. So I pinned yeah, just jettisons all the superhuman calling we've been seeing in other situations that were arguably just as intense and weird. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what she's doing, but she's doing something. I mean, she's like a spaceship engineer. Like this stuff, I don't mind that she does, and she does all this stuff without without us knowing what the hell she's doing. Uh, obviously, but the yeah, it's, yeah, the all the alien, like she just deals with the alien like such a pro. Like, how in the fuck is she still alive? How did she not just die? You know, any of a thousand times that I died. But that's you know, video game protagonists, which is fine. Uh, just don't then have them be stupid in the way that a person would actually be stupid because they had to have not been stupid that way the whole time. Yeah. So. Hey, I don't know what I don't know what these do. This is something we're releasing the docking clamps of some kind. Uh, oh, hi, 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 buddies. Well, I don't have any weapons, so you know, pretty sure I'm just gonna hit a button. Well, I got an achievement. I think I beat the game. <laughs> Fuck how failing I cheese, yeah. I mean... I hope we're watching this from the station. Or from the ship. I hope that happened like long after uh, Ripley got on the ship, because I don't. I feel like if that was exploding like right as she was leaving, that that explosion would take her with it, regardless of <laughs> you know. Berlain, I'm on my way up to the bridge. Uh. Okay, so either this is an epilogue, or there's going to be one last alien on the ship that we're going to have to deal with. Probably there's going to be one last alien on the ship, in in because this is the alien ship. But the future refused to change. I... Yeah, if you didn't see the very beginning of this game, uh, this is the same model as the Nostromo. So here's the medical bay... This is like the first thing you see in this game, is this incredibly lovingly detailed recreation of the Nostromo. Can I take off my thing? Berlaine? Well, this is like a little... Okay. Where did I come in? Also, I thought I would take off my suit. Oh god! What do you mean move keys down? Don't give me a fucking quick time event. You know, I I said this is gonna happen, but you know, still. I also don't like that. I don't like doing it as a quick team event. This is dumb. And that's how Ripley saved the galaxy. Oh no! She... <laughs> oh, 
If that's where Ripley dies, I'm gonna be kind of mad. What? I mean, so what? So was everyone else dead, but killed by the alien on the got onto Torrens? Did Verlaine die then? I guess that was the implication. And then we spaced it, but like. You don't know that there's only one alien on that ship. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't think that was a good ending. <laughs> and not like it's. I was I was ready for like everyone to fucking die, but <sighs> like I I mean Ripley's not dead, but <sighs> she might as well be dead, basically. I think the implication was that the Verlain was the alien the whole time in disguise. <laughs> oh, that'd be really good. Destroy. Okay, for some reason we're hearing Sigourney Weaver Ripley's log in the background very, like, intermittently. It was pretty, that was an hour and 20 minutes, so I mean, pretty close to an hour. Pretty, pretty quick to the end. Once, for the stream. It's sad we probably won't ever get a sequel since they were definitely setting one up. I guess? I know, it's weird, because like, I don't know. You know, it's, it's the weird thing about setting, like, creating a tie-in story that is set, you know, in between other, the main stories. And that you can only, you know, how much can you, you can't actually do that much interesting stuff with it because you can't introduce too many new ideas. I mean, this game was beautiful in, a beautiful recreation of Alien, basically, and a whole bunch of Alien-related stuff. But there's other, I guess the, uh, you know, the, the robots and the specific look of the robots is kind of a unique thing to this game. But other than that, there's not really anything particularly unique about it unless you count video game libertarian civilization collapse vigilante mobs. Go on please Facebook faceplate at the last moment was supposed to indicate a ship picking her up or something like that. Yeah, that's, I guess that's kind of what I assumed, but I still, it's like, ah, man. This is Ripley. Well, then I really hope that that was the only alien on that ship. Like, I guess it's Wayland Yutani picks her up, a another ship that's here for some reason shows up, and debriefs her, and, you know, disappears her into a hole somewhere, and then they know about the alien more, but... It's interesting that they did motion capture and likeness by different people than the voices. Um, I mean, that's not that uncommon, but... It's also that not everyone has a, a motion capture actor, so... Do people actually come back and do additional voices for it? Like, from the movie, then? Because Ashes has a different voice credited? I didn't realize that there was actually new... Oh, I guess there was some new dialogue, that's right. I forgot from the Nostromo uh, flight recorder stuff. That was Some of that was new. And obviously they had the new Sigourney Weaver, like, the, the tape left for Amanda. That was... So... I guess they got everyone back except for Ian Holm. Is Ian Holm dead? I think he might be. <laughs> like, uh, is that why they didn't get him back?
No, he's still alive. Guess he's just retired. Well, fair enough. He's an old man. <sighs> well. Signing off. Any plans for what you'll be playing next? Not as much as I should. <laughs> um, oh yeah, I think I think next week. Um, I'm gonna just play. Uh, I'm gonna play Headlander because I own it and I haven't played it. And it's short and it's a nice. It feels like a nice uh, palette cleanser after this game of a very silly uh, 2D game. Uh, so I think I'll do that. Uh, I'm not sure what. Not sure what I'm gonna do after that for something that's a little bit longer. I'll have to figure it out. Also got that in a bundle somewhere and never got around to looking at it. Yeah, I've seen a little bit of it when Chris Rumo streamed it. I think, I mean, a long time ago, probably when it came out. Um, but I don't really remember it, other than Chris's infamous or famous, I guess, reaction to finding out there's a dance button <laughs> and there's like a different dance for every character that you can take over. Uh, Pretty much the only thing I remember about watching it. It's a good thing, though. Man, this is a weird game. I think it's. I think it's good. Like I think it's a. Like I said, a really, you know, clearly a very loving recreation of Alien in a lot of ways. Um, I think it's, the pacing is just a little bit off. It's a little bit, like, feels like every section is just a little bit too long. I don't know that, because I was, because I know a lot of people said, like, basically the game is too long. So I was kind of imagining, like, they ran out of ideas, and then... You know, like, the game would just keep going. Like, I've definitely played games like that, where you kind of just repeat a bunch of stuff again. I don't feel like this game was like that so much as just each individual section felt like it just went on a little bit too long and it could do to be cut down somewhat. Um, but that seems like a much harder thing to do pacing-wise, maybe, than... Then, like, oh, just, you know, your game is just, like, repeating a bunch of shit halfway through. Just to be long. Um. And, yeah, the ending was a little bit... I don't like the ending, basically. Most, most of that ending sequence was not, not very interesting. Some checkpointing issues as well, given the amount of randomness this section could include. Yes, I don't like the save system. I think... I, I'm generally... I mean, I guess that's the thing that owes... Maybe I, I might have even said this before. Owes more to, like, Resident Evil. Um, and those kind of, you know, survival horror games that, that rely on that kind of save system as part of their, like, tension generation. But I don't... I don't think it was good. 
I, I mean, I don't know that I think it's good in Resident Evil either, but I don't, I don't think it's good in this game. I think you should just have a regular checkpoint system, and... Like, I understand they don't want to give people a quick save, you know, like a, like a save anywhere system, because cause then you can save scum the alien, but I don't. And because of the alien being able to run around, I guess that's why, like, we don't want, they don't want to, like, save for you. Uh, because, you know, you could save in a bad spot and then you'd get upset while they're putting it in your tram. Yeah, I think like, the idea that the save takes time and you can get chomped while it's happening is neat on paper, not so much facts. Yeah, it's definitely an idea that, like, somebody would come up with in a meeting or something, or, you know, not in a meeting, but, like, somebody would propose it in a meeting, and it would be like, everybody else was like, oh my god, that's so good, like, that's so cool. And if you tell someone to describe it, it probably sounds like, oh, that's such a good horror game mechanic. But in practice, it's just more... Annoy. I mean, I don't actually know if I ever got eaten while I was being while I was even saving. So I don't even know that that's like, if it's even like it didn't really feel like that much of a danger, especially because you can go back to previous saves, um, which is good. It shouldn't feel like a danger. Like I just the whole idea of it is just like it was just kind of cumbersome more than anything else. Um, so that's not uh, not great. Was there? Not that. <laughs> no, thank you. Cyber mode changes. Let's go to extras. Oh, really? Just well, why is it called? Why is it here? If that's all there is, unless there's more stuff that I haven't like unlocked or something. Wait, is there DLC for this game? I feel like I remember that. Oh my god, there is a bunch of DLC for this game. Holy shit. Uh, okay. Wow. Are you going to look at the multiplayer deathmatch mode? Please tell me that's not real. Uh, oh my, oh wait, is that actually what survivor mode is? Because I'm, now I'm looking at the DLC and that's like... No, right? It's just like a single player challenge mode. So this DLC it's new maps for survivor mode. Then there is Oh, so there's DLC that is basically recreating Alien. Like literally recreating Alien. There's DLC that is choose to play as one of the three surviving crew members of the Nostromo, Ellen, Ripley, Dallas, or Parker, find a way to isolate the alien and overcome the terror that confronts them. Uh, and then there's another DLC called Last Survivor, which is as Ellen Ripley, it is down to you to complete the last mission on board the Nostromo. The rest of the crew are dead, and in desperate day to survive, you must set the ship self destruct and attempt to reach the escape shuttle. So they're just recreating Alien. I was being sarcastic, and that's really what I want an award. I think it's a single player, like, challenge mode thing, but there is some kind of thing like that where it's like, because there's DLC for more maps for it. Uh, okay, there's another DLC that is. All new salvage mode. You found the only raid safe room on Sevastopol, but your supplies are running out. You'll have to venture out, complete objectives, and return to the safe room safely. Great. So it's just like fucking like Minecraft in a in on Sevastopol with aliens. That's not what I want. Yeah, there's actually waves of challenges in salvage mode. Hello, Kare. Kare? Uh, thank you. They are. They're like... Oh, yeah, hi, Dio. They're cuddling. Uh, I just finished this game, Kare, so, uh, I probably will not be streaming too much longer, unfortunately. I'm just looking at the DLC right now. The DLC <laughs> descriptions sound identical to The Division, Jesus. That's like a... and. That's like a huge burn on a game. Uh, okay. Sure. And then there's another one that I don't even know what it does. It's like, you're given a box of explosive and the location to set them. All you now do need, need to do now is pull the trigger and stay alive. It doesn't say what it actually is. Is this just a, another mode? I mean, it doesn't sound good. Yeah. They, this sounds like they apparently also sold season passes to the DLC, so it sounds like they 
basically decided they were going to make DLC and then had to, to fill it up. I mean, I guess the thing where they just recreate aliens is kind of interesting. Uh, vaguely. But, wait, in the screenshot from, from the alien recreation, there's one of the, the white uh, Seeks and robots. Well, that doesn't make sense. Maybe these are all just... Oh, these might actually not be screenshots from this DLC. They might just be alien isolation screenshots, but... Yeah, why? Uh, God, I... <laughs> I did not complete the game without killing any humans. I did not navigate reactor maintenance without dying, evidently. I apparently didn't construct one of each craftable item. Really? What didn't I construct? Let's see, what are some achievements I don't have? Yeah, I don't have to construct one of each craftable item. I don't know what that one. There's a hidden achievement I don't have. Did the game in the hardest difficulty setting. Collect 10 Nostromo logs. I didn't collect 10. There's probably 10 Nostromo logs. And I didn't get all those. That's actually, I would have liked to see those. And I didn't get all the ID tags. That's fine. That's an achievement. The only ending to the game has you dump the station into the atmosphere. <laughs> oh. Like, if I go into here, playing survival mode before finishing the main campaign may spoil your main campaign experience. Well, I've already beat it, game. Have you, or have you, could you actually, like, check that? Whoa. Select character. Equipped with flamethrower, cutting tool. Level 1 sat, whatever that is. I'm not sure if that's the motion tracker or the hacking device. Flare and blueprints for Molotov and Noisemaker. Select your crew guard, delete the system data, lock down the stairwell. Weird. Do so you have to actually have to beat? Uh, also, why are these all, you know? You have to beat the, like, one. You, don't, you only have the one available initially, and then you have to beat it so you can unlock another one. I mean, I'm not going to do it, but I was curious if I could see more of what they are. Okay. Um... Well, I guess I end the stream. Man. I was ready to be streaming for a little bit longer. Uh, yeah, so let's go to the schedule. So bye, kittens. Oh my god, game. Come on, stop it. Um, I'm going to be gone tomorrow. I will probably gone, or I probably will not be streaming Sunday. I'll be back by Sunday night, um, but I probably still won't stream just because coming back from traveling and stuff, socializing. Um, I'm gonna take the cats and go uh, go to my friends who has two of their siblings, and they're not gonna hang out with each other because they don't know each other and they just hiss at each other if we put them in the same room. But they'll be in the same house and uh, we will hang out. Um, so that's going to be fun. Um, uh, I will be back. Uh, so I'll be back Monday. Continuing Dark Souls 3. We just finished, or we started, we finished the first DLC last time and started the second DLC. Right? Yeah. Or no, we just actually started the second DLC. No, wait. I don't remember. We're on the second DLC. Uh, thank you for the bits, Billy. Appreciate that. Um... Yeah, and I will be back next Friday, probably, like I said, I think I'm going to play Headlander next Friday, um, which should, the How Long to Beat said six hours, so it'll be two streams, if that's the case, and then we'll figure something else out. 
Um, oh, kittens stood up. They're being cute, but I can't see them. Yeah, thanks you guys for joining me. Uh, you can follow me for notifications when I go live. You can sub for emotes of my cats. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching and chatting. It's a lot of fun to do. I would not, I definitely, this is a game I would 100% have not have finished were I not streaming it. So, thanks guys. Uh, I'm, I'm glad to have finished it. Even though it was, it was frustrating at times and, you know, yeah. Um, I was going to say something else. Oh yeah, so, can I, as I have done with every Alien Isolation stream, we're going to go out to Maddie Meyer's Peace in Space. Um... And uh, since we're done with Alien Isolation, we're not gonna we're not gonna listen to it anymore after this. So so you know, enjoy. Go check her out because her I like her music a lot. Um, bye. Stay.